If there is one thing I've learned from Killer Joe, do not mess with Matthew McConaughey when he is the boss. What's up, guys? Welcome to Movie Appointments Movie Review of The Gentleman, the newest film from director Guy Ritchie, and it stars Matthew McConaughey, Hugh Grant, Charlie Hunnam, Michelle Dockery, Jeremy Strong, Henry Golding, and Colin Farrell. So here we are. We're finally back in Guy Ritchie's wheelhouse with his gangster, cockney, British, Scottish type of films that we he is known for, like Lock, Stock, and Two Smoking Barrels, and Snatch, and so on and so forth. And the story is very of its kind. We have Matthew McConaughey, who is playing basically the warlord boss, drug dealer of this movie. Uh, he owns like several pot farms. He is very successful. But as things have to happen in this movie, we have to have competition. We have to have bad guys. This is where we get Jeremy Strong, who is actually in another film with Matthew McConaughey. If you remember the other film, Serenity, that was not so good. But here we have Jeremy Strong playing basically a lord. He's, you know, wealthy and he is interested in buying Matthew McConaughey's drug farm, basically. And Matthew McConaughey wants to get out of it. He wants to go and live with his wife and have a couple of kids. Well, we then we have on top of that, we have the Henry Golden character who plays Dry Eye. And Dry Eye is an amazing name, a very Guy Ritchie centric. And he is going to try and like undercut and try and do everything to like you know, destroy what Matthew McConaughey has built. And Henry Golney, it's kind of nice to see do something a little bit different. Yeah, he's still charming and still just good looking, but at least he's trying to be menacing and dark and he's going to try and do everything in his power to get rid of the Matthew McConaughey character. So it's a lot of fun. So the back and forth and stuff like that. So on top of all that, we have Hugh Grant and Charlie Hunnam who are basically talking to one another throughout the story, kind of like a wraparound story. And Hugh Grant's the best part about this movie, but he basically tries to blackmail Matthew McConaughey and Charlie Hunnam. And to watch his mannerisms, to watch how he talks to Charlie Hunnam, to watch how he explains the story is kind of like somebody pitching a movie, which is kind of a meta type of way of doing this movie. The way he's pitching it, the fact of how it plays out is very, very, it is very, it just kind of shows you how just kind of inverse and crazy Guy Ritchie can be. But it's just a fun, it's just fun to watch. Like I said, Hugh Grant is just in this kind of renaissance period where he's just doing great material and he's just so good in this movie. And Charlie Hunnam is Charlie Hunnam, but it's, they're very, they have a lot of great chemistry together, but Hugh Grant is just doing some amazing work in this movie and it's just fantastic to see it is it doesn't take away from everybody else but Hugh Grant is indeed the standout of this movie and because of that understated nature of what Hugh Grant's doing it's just it's really fun to watch because he's also underneath a character played by Eddie Ransom called Big Dave and you get that really like corporate mentality of you know what the the what the feeling and what the logic of what you know, Fletcher, which is Hugh Grant's character, is doing. And when you see him kind of being, you know, very skittish and flamboyant, he's also kind of scared and he doesn't know how to handle situations. So when the, you know, when things start falling apart, he will fall apart with it, which is a lot of fun. But then we also have Colin Farrell in this movie who plays coach and he has a lot of fun because he has some characters who do some stupid stuff because he's a coach for a gym and he has to repent for those stupid decisions. And Colin Farrell is just one of those actors that you just you love to sit there and watch on screen because he has such a weird nature to him that he's just almost mesmerizing to watch and how he reacts to like, you know, Charlie Hunnam's character, how he reacts to, you know, Matthew McConaughey's character, how he reacts to, reacts to Eddie Ransom's character, just how he reacts to everything. He's like the, almost like the underrated actor in this movie, which is really funny because he's not really an underrated actor to begin with. He's a fantastic actor, and that's just what what's so great about these chess pieces being put together, is you're seeing characters just kind of do things that kind of move the movie momentum forward, and that's because of you know Guy Ritchie's script. But you just see the pieces start falling together, and when you know you have the conversations with Charlie Hunnam and Hugh Grant here, Matthew McConaughey here with Charlie Hunnam, and you have like the Eddie Ransom stuff, and then you have Henry Golding stuff with you know his mob and whatnot. 
And then you like said Colin Farrell and Jeremy Strong and how those pieces start pulling, pulling together. It is a really like a chess piece board match that are just slowly, you know, knocking pawns and rooks and uh, knights and stuff off the table until they get to the final conclusion, which is a lot of fun. So, But I'll be honest with you, when it comes to January movies, 2020 has not been very good at all. It's actually been pretty terrible. I'm not going to lie. So it makes it so exciting to finally have a movie that's not only entertaining, but really feels authentic to what Guy Ritchie is known for. To really feel him get back into his, you know, old past, it owes, you know, have a little bit bigger budget, have a little bit bigger cast, and be able to do something that's just fun and offbeat and oddball and weird. There's some weird places this movie goes, and that's perfectly fine because there are weird places that Lock, Stock, and Two Smoking Barrels and Snatch go. You know, it's just, but it's just a fun movie. It's, you can really feel just like everybody just having a good time while doing this movie. And you can really feel that Guy Ritchie is kind of at ease doing these types of movies. And I don't think he needs to do these types of movies for the rest of his career. But to go back to it, go back to the roots, go back to the just uh, iconic nature of what he is known for is just, it makes it for a much more entertaining project or entertaining, you know, film itself. And it just, it leads into some good stuff. There's just so much good stuff in this movie. There's just so much entertaining stuff, you know, whether you see Matthew McConaughey and how he reacts to everything and how everything's playing out and how the gunplay plays out, how the the words play out. There's a lot of foul language in this movie, but that's what it's known for. And just to see London in kind of a different light, to see the, the farms and the updated nature of what 2019 and 2020 can do for these types of movies. I have a lot of like, you know, excitement and a lot of just fun passion for that type of thing. And it's just a good time at the theater, you know. I love watching him work. I love watching Guy Ritchie just work and do his thing and you know, watch these characters play out and have a good time and just a there's like some weird, crazy moments in this movie that I really, really enjoy. You know, Michelle Doherty, who plays, you know, Malcolm McConaughey's wife, has some really great moments in this movie. And how she reacts to like the mob, you know, gangsters and stuff like that. And there's this like one sequence when she is confronted by a couple of gangsters and how she reacts to it is a lot of fun. And she takes no guff. It's really fun to see. But like I said, this movie just, it works it's a good time in the theater. It's very, very of its type, and you're gonna have a lot of fun with it. And that's pretty much all I can say about it without really spoiling it, because to spoil this movie would be kind of ruining it for everyone. I think people who really are into this type of genre will go see this movie, but I also recommend it for people who aren't into this genre, who have never really seen a movie like that, what Guy Ritchie has done in his past. So yeah, it's highly recommended. Definitely go see it. So there you go. That is my take on The Gentleman. Very, very highly recommended. So, but anyways, that'll do it. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you like what you see, of course, hit the subscribe button. Join Movie Emporium. Hit that notification bell at the top to find out what's coming next. And uh, comment below on any video that you watch my channel. But otherwise, I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out. What's up, guys? Thank you so much for checking out Movie Emporium. I really appreciate it. If you want to, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification button and the bell at the top find out what's coming next for movie emporium also check out these two videos they're amazing i think they're awesome i think you'll enjoy them too but otherwise thank you so much for watching guys we'll see you next time